Hello and welcome back. Today we're gonna be looking at a new change here for the enemy where we're gonna have a visual effect for when the enemy gets hit. So let's see. So as you can see the enemy flashes now when it gets hit. So let's see how that's built. Here we have our axe wielder. We're going to the prefab here. Should be familiar now. We have a few things here. So here we have a cooldown effect script that as the name says is handling the cooldown effect and this script is getting called here on the on damage event here you can see that we're calling the cooldown effects start cooldown effects method inside the script we're keeping track of a couple of things here we have the object renders here we have the skinned mesh render for the actual character and we also have a mesh render for the axe that the character has we also have a reference to the material that we want to use when we are flashing the cooldown and we have a few floats here we have the length of the cooldown itself we have how long we want to flash the model for and the delay between the flashes if we want to delay between them as we are currently doing so that it's not constantly flashing so let's look at the code in the code here we have the references that we just went through the renderers here the material that we're using and the different time in seconds that we are using later on. Then we also have a couple of private variables here for keeping track of a few things. We have a float here for knowing when the cooldown effect needs to end and we have a reference to the original materials that the renderers that we're using here have. On a week we are initializing the original materials array and then we're going through each of the renderers here and storing the associated shared material in the original materials array so that we don't lose track of it. Then here we have the start cooldown effects method that first is stopping any coroutines that may be running in case we trigger this while another effect is going on. Then we determine when we want the effect to end by just adding the cooldown time in seconds that we had before to the time dot time that will tell us when we are actually supposed to stop the effect. And then we start a coroutine here to actually trigger the flash effect. This coroutine first start with the flash state as true and then as long as we are before the cool time end period so as long as the cool down end time is larger than the actual time dot time then we're going to be running through this loop and in this loop the first thing we do is flip the flash state this is what will allow us to turn the effect on and off then for every renderer we apply a material based on the flash state. So if the flash state is true, we apply the original material, and if it's false, we apply the flash material. Then we wait for however long we want the flash to last. And then if the flash state is true, that means that we are currently showing the original material, then we add an extra weight here, which is the delay between flashes. This is very useful because without the delay, the effect can be a little bit jarring, a lot of flashing going on, so you can add delay here to be less intrusive. And then at the end of the loop, we just want to make sure that we are returning all the renders to their original materials. So we go through them again once we're finished with the flashing. This is just to avoid the case where we finish this while loop with the flash material applied to the renderers. And then for extra safety here on the on disable event, we're also looping through the renderers and making sure that we are applying the original materials. This is in case we are despawning the damageable in here while the flash effect is going on. Which the way things are set up right now is not going to happen, but later on we may change something that will potentially cause this state. So we want to be extra cautious here. And that's it for the code. This is a, a very straightforward technique, but it's very useful to add a little bit of feedback for the player so that they know that the enemy is invulnerable while in the cooldown and also so that the feedback is a little bit more tactile. So now that you know how it's set up, let's see it in action again. So here we are with the with the enemy approaching. I'll quickly just one hit. You can see the, the enemy flash. And obviously while the enemy is flashing, I cannot do any damage. And that's it. This is a very straightforward change, but that's a lot of value to the to the interaction here for the combat and should make things a little bit more obvious to the player. So they can understand what's going on when they're fighting this enemy. So that will be it for today. Look forward to the next video where we'll be looking over 
how to add effects for the player to know when they're getting damage. So when the enemy is causing damage, we should be able to give the player some cues that something's going on so they can react and stop getting hit. But that will be for another video. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.